Hi everybody, thank you for visiting my channel. I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed day. Yeah, this week's project, uh, I have about 40 pe 41 pieces of uh, various pieces of wood. Uh, there's poplar, there's dark walnut. Uh, there are some red oak. Uh, uh, and there are some pieces of mahogany. Anyway, there are, there is some quarter inch by one and a half, and there are some three quarter by one and a half. Uh, so there's various pieces. I needed to glue them up to each other so I could make. Uh, about 21 inch diameter out of it. Oh, that's the plan for right now, anyway. Had something cooking in my mind right now. But part one is done. I just have to wait until the glue dries. They're two halves right now because I want to put them through a drum sander, clean them really good, and then glue the other two half together until then later enjoy your day hi everybody as you see I uh, finish uh, gluing the two piece put it through a drum sander as you see right now it's really even smooth I uh, divider I set up my uh, cutting there are about uh, one almost one and three quarter two thousand short so uh, I'll get one two three four rings out of it and uh, this is gonna be the base so it's gonna like I said it's gonna be a big bowl uh, I'm shooting for 21 on the biggest my lathe could carry on the house, uh, the opening diameter. So right now the first one is 21, and uh, and it goes to uh, uh, let's see, uh, 19 and three quarter uh, to 19 and a half, and etc. And the uh, center will be about. Um, uh, nine and a half, uh, about uh, nine and three quarter, a little bit shy from two thousand shy from three quarter. But this is the base, and they're gonna be three cut up. I'm gonna use uh, uh, Gary's method. He does a lot of segmented and cut up board like that I watched a lot of his video uh, he's a talented man you should go watch him I put his uh, YouTube channel on my uh, description you could check it out below uh, otherwise uh, he uh, made a jig where you could uh, put on your uh, tool rest and cut it. I made two of them. So I'm gonna, like I said, but because, like he said in his video, everybody has two rest and lathe is different. Like I believe his was 18, uh, Laguna. I have, um, 21 inch swing over so a little bit bigger and uh, uh, the tool rest shape different than the, uh, his tool rest so I had to make one where it fits mine so I end up cutting it in this angle and there's my 45 and there's another one I made where 
I could use it for uh, same thing. I just I'm trying to test, see which one works better. But seemed to me this one was more sturdy because the lip goes underneath the tool rest and kind of when I tied it, it pushes it up and it kind of like push the whole thing in the corner and it stops it from moving. And I have the same angle 45 here and it fits my uh, tool as you see. So I'm going to use one of the two, uh, see which one that fits better, but I got to take it on my bandsaw and cut the first rib. And then I have to figure out a way of mounting this 21 inch disc onto my lathe. Well, maintain the center so that way I could cut each ring exact every time without this thing moving. So that is another thing I have to worry about or to think about. But otherwise, that's just about it. Mm. Like I said, my uh, first thing is the, the ring. I have a jig I used before, as you see, but it's still not big enough because I believe the the jig uh, was, you know, scattered. I believe it was 18. Yep, it's 18. That's how big it is. And that not gonna be good enough. Oh, it'll be, it'll be, my cutting will be coming here. Because I'm going in from this angle 45, so I'll be going almost like halfway, which is, it is good okay so all i have to do really double sided tape this thing into here center it so they meet each other center a good idea and then just put a maybe three sticks of uh double sided tape so every one of them when it get cuts off it doesn't move stays where it's at and one won't shift or move anything so my tool won't get jammed to it too so it will be mounted in many ways that's one way of doing it okay well i'm gonna go ahead and do it that way then uh let me take it to the bandsaw cut the the diameter out of this first one first move cut it and then from there send it into that and it has a face plate so it'll be centered over there too just matter of sending it here. Okay, catch you guys later. I'll take it on the bandsaw and cut it and I'll show you what I'm planning to do later. Hi everybody. Here's my 21 inch ring. And as you see, they're already measured and lined. Uh, I don't want it to be too deep and I don't want it to be too too small or too funnily as normally they come up when you cut them and if they're for say 12 inches uh, it depends how deep you want it the bottom usually funnels up uh, because the way you cut it you have no choice so my idea was to make bowl a big white bowl which is still uh, maintain the witness of that 21 inch diameter or 20 by the time of, uh, 20 and a half 21 and a half i mean no this is 21 so it's going to be about 20 and uh, 20 20 and a half it depends how much i it takes to make it straight and it takes up because you see it's still part of that pencil. I try to get it with the bandsaw as close as possible, but as you see, there is some high spots here and there. But not worry about that. Right now I am cutting the rings and I'm going at 45 degree angle at it. Uh, I use Gary's methods to make a complete ring so and I made my own tool hopefully it works uh, also 
This is my first attempt to use it. If not, then go to the old fashioned ways, right? But anyway, I'm gonna attempt to use it with mine first. Uh, so it's the idea to set this in here. And uh, this is just a guide, honestly. It would still sit on the tool rest inside here. So uh, I'm just gonna set it here, run a speed and go at it all the way to the end at 45 degree angle. And if it works up, then I'll do the second and third and I don't think I'm gonna bore you with the rest, but at least you got the idea. But you get to see the first one anyway. That is what that's where you want. <laughs> anyway, so uh, let's go forward. Move out of the way. Because this is pretty much glued in here. Well, I have the two, uh, the two uh, tail rest on it. It did not bad for first attempt. I glued it. I think 500 will be better this time. Move out of the way, take a few down. Hi everybody, as you see I already um, cut the rings, I marked them so that way they don't go out of the, well, beside the lines anyway, but you can tell there's no line here, there is a line here, so I have to match exact identical. Anyway, so the idea it is to line them up perfectly. And glue them together again. So that's how it's gonna be. Twenty-one inch. The width on the biggest one. Uh, nine and a half. I'm not mistaken, but to be sure. I had the nine and a half on the widest part, but the narrowest part is over here, six and a half. Because uh, from there to here, it's uh, from when I was doing the cutting, uh, the widest part on the other side is uh, nine and a half, but the base will be at six and a half. So from 21 to six and a half. And now I have to keep the lines perfectly matched, so I do have to uh, try to glue them piece by piece just to avoid any shifting. Uh, so, put them back out of the way. And I am planning to only Glue this one first. So just get you guys back when I'm done with the gluing all, all the pieces. So I gotta do them like this so I could keep the the line matches. Anyway, I'll bring you guys when I'm done with this. Later. So, as you see, 
bit of the bike after the base is already glued on uh, the lace so i'm gonna take this and i'll meet you guys there to glue this piece into the rest and we'll go from there so uh, i have it if i could have it straight like that and that this one out give me space to drop it and if i bring this i'll put a glue all over this and make a meat that's pretty much it all right, let's see if I could do that without making a mess, quick. I think it'll be easy if I do it on the ground, quick. Okay, so the idea it is to... line it with his buddies. So it's done, now I just have to wait for it. That's the back side, waste block. Twenty one inch. You can see what I got. Matter of fact, the banjo won't go the other side. So I do have to take it in and out to move the banjo or go behind it. So that's pretty much it. And until then, I just have to wait for that to dry. Which is, this is the ring I just glued. But Can't wait to get to it. See what it look like. Good morning, everybody. It's been 24 hours since I had this thing glued to each other and into the waste block. 470. So as you see, I finished uh, sanding this from 80 to 400. Oh, gonna clean my tea alcohol. Beside this disappointing. Otherwise, everything is beautiful. Can't believe this. I shipped it and I didn't catch it. Oh, I guess I have to use my uh, 
homemade pizzas to reach inside. So you get the idea. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my sanding. When I'm done, I'll bring you guys back later. So I sand down the piece from uh, 80 to 400. And time to clean it with teenage alcohol. And sand and sealer. Let it dry and do all the finishing polish and all that. And then part from the back, from the waist block. So, time to put some wax on this. But otherwise, that's about it. I hope you guys do like it. You do, thumbs up. You don't, thumbs down. You know the routine. And I do really appreciate you guys always visiting my channel. I try to change from this segmented to whatever comes to mind. I love suggestion. And I always love to read your comments. I do appreciate everything you say. Love you all. Peace. Hi everybody. As you see, I finished uh, most of the sanding down and polish and all that so time for mr obi shine juice and make this thing shine so i put uh matter of fact you see the banjo is gone it's behind it now so when i'm done with this i get my attention to that waste block and get it separated without causing any damage right So I'm gonna spread it slow first so that way I could cover everything and then speed it up. I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready, ready to separate the two pieces. But as you see, it came out pretty good. Well, until then, later. Hello, everybody. Yeah, it's been 24 hours uh, since uh, I put the last polish. I have the tail stock over here set up so uh, I could remove the waste block. Anyway, let's see if we could start with this first. Yeah.
Yo, buddy. I uh, got about uh, uh, half. I'm just going to clean that little part in the bottom and then get it with the, the saw, maybe. Depends how clean it cuts. I made it so thin where I'll take the gloves out so the hands will be clean. Get it so far where Bonnie touched it and Bonnie twisted in a book. So I'll take it down and sand it. Sand and sealer and all that. And I'll bring you guys on the final photo and display. I hope you guys like it. Later. There it is, finally done. It's about 20 inch and a half diameter, nine and a half height, seven inches in a base. From board to bowl. And that is a big bowl. Like I said, stands 20 inch and a half. I hope you all like it. You do, thumbs up, you don't, thumbs down, you know the routine. I always do appreciate your comment and your visiting my channel. I always do appreciate that. God bless you all. Enjoy your day.